Hi, I'm Aaron. Welcome to part one of my DIY floor tiling guide. Before, after, before, after, before, after. After. Today I'm taking a break from cycling to tell you about the ultimate way to set floor tile. I went to Lowe's and I was looking at the aisles and I saw that there's a man named Armand Tavi that had a number of neat items like this. Here he is right here. This is Armand Tavi. He has these tile spacers. See? You can buy them at Lowe's. You put them in between your tiles. So I sent him an email and believe it or not he actually said he wanted to Skype with me and teach me how to set floor tile. Take a look. Check the straight edge to make sure it's still in alignment. Slide it over. You may have moved it. Is it on the pencil marks? Yeah. Yeah it is. Who is this tile guide for? It's for three types of people. It's for someone who wants to set their own floor tile. It's for someone who wants to hire a contractor to come out and do the floor tile, but you want to know something about it before it starts, so you can see who might be best for the job. It's also for the contractor who's looking for a new way to set floor tile and create more business. Now, what am I talking about here? Armin Tavi has created the best way to set floor tile. Normally when you set floor tile, it's permanent. You can't really remove it. It's concrete, bonded by a mortar layer that is not removable. You have to pulverize it. It creates a lot of dust. And there are special contractors that can deal with this dust, but generally it's a permanent kind of thing. And, and why is that bad? Because 10 years from now, you may want to change your floor tile. And you realize you can't do it. Or to do it would be cost prohibitive. Also, what happens if you crack some of your floor tile you want to replace it? Yeah, well, you know, it becomes troublesome. But what Armin Tavi has done is he takes a first base layer that's pretty much like peanut butter. He calls it 008, 008. It never, ever dries. So it is just like Nutella or peanut butter. So what you do is you put down 008, the peanut butter layer. Then you put down a layer of thin skin, which is just a, a thick kind of paper. On top of that is what you put the regular mortar, the thin set mortar. That's the part that never can be broken without dust. So you bond the 008 to the thin skin paper. Then you take the mortar, the thin set mortar, and you bond that, bond that to the tile. And that creates a very strong, very durable layer of tile. And if you ever want to remove it, you just lift up the thin skin, the thick paper, and can replace it. You can replace one tile, you can replace all the tile. It becomes trivial. So let's talk about some of the most important items you need if you're going to do your own tile job. Number one, you want a trowel like this one. You see this? It has U notches, shaped like a U. Okay? So what's important about these U-notches? Well, when you lay down your tile and you make a layer of thin set, you need to have ridges so the air can escape because air is your enemy. If you have air underneath your tile, someone heavy, something heavy can cause it to crack. So you put this across your thin set mortar, you lay your tile down, and by having a U-notch, it makes it much easier to fall down. So if somebody comes out, a contractor says, let me see, let me see your trowel. Is it square notched or is it U notched? Does it have a curve at the bottom? If it's not U notched, tell them to go home. Tell them, tell them to go get a U notch. You only want to deal with somebody who uses a U notch trowel. If you're going to do it yourself, you get a U notch trowel. They're a little bit hard to find, 
You can't get them at Lowe's. You can't get them at Home Depot unless it's a special order. So contact me if you have trouble finding them. Or contact Armin. We'll help you find them. The other kind of trowel you need is this one. With these little tiny razor teeth. Alright? Why do you want to use this? This is what you're going to use for your 008 to spread that on. You don't need a thick layer of 008. It creates like a suction. If you can imagine peanut butter holding on to a layer of paper. This is all you need to put on your 008. Okay? You need some sponges. Sponges like these. These will do the trick. You need them to wash different things. You'll need it to get the, the grout off of your towel. Okay? You need sponges like that. Now, let me tell you about the coolest, coolest thing. Alright? It's Tavi's Tile Puck. Alright? This tile puck is just like a hockey puck almost. In fact, you probably could use a hockey puck, but this is pretty cheap. I just went in and got Tavi's, Tavi's Tile Puck. It's got a little uh, bubble on it. I never really used that, but the, wh why do you want to use this? Let me show you in a video, but what you do is you, you run it over your tile and see if there's anything that's uneven. Ask a contractor who comes out and say, you know, how can you ensure that I'm not going to have a toe kicker, that when I'm running across the floor I'm not going to stub my toe because one layer of tile is above the other. Well, if you're putting this, running across your tile as you're laying it, you'll never have a toe kicker. You'll never stub your toe because you'll always be able to see. You'll be able to hear a clack, 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 clack as you run over it. So let's, let's cut to the video. Let's take a look. Because maybe it's not flat already. Oh, no. See that one? See this? I heard that sound. Did? Really? I think that no, one. No, do it again. Do it again. Go back and forth. Quickly. Okay. You hear that? Oh. That tile is against the wall that's up in the air for it and the one in front of it. So that's not true. What happens when you put the mortar on it? Oh, it's okay. Really But that's what you're going to do once you start setting the tiles. Okay. Here's another item that you would like to have. It's a rubber mallet. But Tavi makes this mallet, and it's nice. It's got a nice, because you want to hit your tile let all the air out of it. It's also got a, an angle to it. So you can hit your tile at an angle to push it in, in towards its tile spacers. So I, I like this mallet. It's a simple, simple device, but does the trick. I got myself a pair of uh, earphones at uh, Harbor Freight. Pretty cheap. Save your ears if you're going to be using a wet saw layer. So what is a wet saw? Let me show you a picture of it. You'll need what's called a rubber float. Okay? This rubber float is what you're going to use to put the grout on. You push the grout into the cracks. That's the part that's in between every little tile. The little little cement there, they call that grout. You rub this, you push that right into those cracks. You need a rubber float. You'll need what's called a margin trowel. Okay? This margin trowel is what you'll use to stir up your mortar, your thin set mortar, and to spread it around. Very, very important little tool. You need a couple of different size uh, spatulas to put down your, your thin skin. You know, the thick paper, put down, move things around. Very simple. You'll need to have one of these. And for all kinds of jobs, you never want to be without vice grips. V-I-S-E-G-R-I-P. Vice grip. Get a pair of vice grips. You won't regret it. You'll need to pull out nails, all that kind of stuff. Now, what else can I tell you? Well, you'll need to get one of these uh, egg beaters, okay? Get this kind of style. Don't get one of the fancy styles. This is what you'll need to stir up your 008, stir up your thin set. You'll be using this, not your hands, unless you're He-Man. It's not easy. So you want to get something like this. In addition to this, you want to get a nice drill, okay? Something like this, right? Okay. So what? What's cool about this drill? Well, this drill is has a gear reduction chuck, a half inch bit. Gear reduction a gear reduction chuck is very important. It means it's not going to spin that fast. With the spin like maybe 800 revolutions per minute, definitely less than a thousand revolutions per minute. 
only something with a gear reduction chuck is going to be able to spin and turn 008. Spin and turn the pin set mortar. Mix it up. Battery operated tools probably won't work. Corded tools generally won't work unless they have a gear reduction chuck. This from Harbor Freight was 40 bucks. It's really hard to beat. A great deal. Uh, that's what you'll need to do this kind of job. Don't try to use any other kind of drill. You'll blow it out. Start smoking. Believe me. So here's what I have left of the 008. It's not mixed. You need to mix it up. But just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like. It's uh, a lot like peanut butter, you see. So, okay now. Let's get on with the show. Go on to part two of my DIY tour tile flooring guide. Thank you.